Switching gears to Facebook this morning, uh, testing the idea of splitting its news feed into two, separating commercial and paid posts from personal posts. The new feature is being tested in six co countries in Europe and Asia. In response to the report, Facebook's head of news feed, Adam Osseri, says the goal of the test is to understand if people prefer to have separate places for personal and public content, adding there is no current plan to roll this out beyond those test countries. What is the upside for something like this? Well, I think Facebook's primary primary instinct is to keep people happy on Facebook and using Facebook. And certainly, um, news is not always happy. And so, probably by separating news into its own portion of the feed, news from pages, that is, um, maybe they'll, they're hoping that, that that other feed, the main feed, will be posts from your friends, from your family, pictures of dogs and babies. So more of an Insta kind of feel? Yeah, I think, I think it makes Facebook more like Instagram, which people coincidentally <laughs> like a lot more than Facebook. <laughs> Kate, I, I, I wonder, does Facebook have any real values when it comes to content? Uh, they, they seem to prioritize everything based on, uh, as Kevin was saying, keeping the viewer, the user engaged. But I wonder, as they try to work with media companies, they change strategy so often, can anybody trust them? That's, that's an excellent point. It's interesting. I ascribe slightly different motives to, their, to this change. Number one, I think it's a very logical shift away from some of those customized news feeds, native content, as it's called, non-promoted content. That really gave rise to a lot of the worldwide issues around election coverage and some of the tainted news media. So I think it's a subtle way, perhaps, to answer that question. I think the other thing is this user engagement translates directly into media. The fact that promoted tweets uh, from folks like New York Times, from other people that are selling things are going to be more prominent, maybe covering some of those topics that may be covered by BuzzFeed and Huffington Post that I will be more likely not to see any longer. So I agree with you. If I've been, you know, Huffington Post and BuzzFeed and Business Insider, I really spent a whole lot of time adding value to Facebook by adding, you know, using social media as my way of communicating and growing uh, my user base and the attachment of their customers. And so it'll be interesting to see how people feel, um, A, both users having that out of their feed, and B, I agree with you, people get a little frustrated when the rules of the game keep changing as you're continuing to try to execute around where you thought you had alignment with Facebook's goals. Yeah, I mean, what does it mean for the advertisers, Kevin? How, how, is there any indication that any of this is affecting advertising, spending, and targeting on Facebook? I know we'll get earnings early next week. I think we'll... But they've been quiet. They've been pretty quiet, and I think they're sort of biding their time and waiting to see how this shakes out. Um, my hunch is that this controversy over Russia will actually improve Facebook's advertising business for the 2018 campaigns. I think if you're a campaign director and you're looking and seeing reports that you know Russia may have influenced the election with a hundred thousand dollar spend, um, I think you're <laughs> saying, "Well, I can do a lot more than that." And if these tools work so well, maybe I should be using them in some of the same ways. But I think there's there's a really important thing here, which is that Facebook's relationship to publishers has been a source of great tension and. In some ways, this is a slap in the face to them. Facebook said, um, has spent years telling publishers, you know, spend money buying likes to your page, increasing the size of your audience, and we will reward you with increased reach on Facebook. Now they're essentially saying, you paid for those likes, now you got to pay us again if you want people to see your content. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.